now we got a people are waiting so long to walk across the street so let me walk across the street here let me show you how it's done people get so paranoid it's pretty easy to walk across the street you just go there's not much to it Just start again. Go right in front of the Mercedes. Fuck the Mercedes. Everybody will come with me because I'm bigger. This is a common thing in Vietnam with me crossing the street. They use me like a wall. Wow. Wow. Chào ơi. Chào ơi. Come on. <laughs> they call me handsome. Okay. So there's already food at this side. That's pretty good, pretty smart idea. I didn't know this was already up and cranking. See, this is a tremendous vlog today. This is about as good as a vlog can get. We've seen like 10 different things as we've walked around. This is why it's tremendous to film on one way. And why the anti-fans can go slag off. There's always something going on on the street. Interesting. I had no idea this was already going on. Crank it up! I had no idea this was even open. Oh, they got all kinds of food here. See, this is already kind of looking better than the International Food Festival. Again, we're seeing the same thing though, like the meat on the stick, spring roll, the sticky rice and the bamboo shoot, the mixed drink. I forget the name of this, but this is good. Bai Lao, something like that. This, it comes with this, dip it by me, tapoyaki, and then Vietnamese Korean fish cake. Voucher, it looks like. Looks like you buy vouchers. So this is set up. Oh, somebody's been listening to Fat and Broke. Set up a food festival with vouchers. Spring roll. So handmade spring roll. She's going to roll that joint. And then the meat. So a lot of the same. Same, same. But that's This is traditional, same, same Vietnamese uh, street food at a festival. Doesn't detour very much so off of what usually is here. I had no idea we were gonna make this cool of a vlog today. See, this place is primed for this kind of stuff too. You got 7-Up over here. Is it free? Free? Uh, no free. No free? Uh, only, only 15,000. Chào ơi, mặc quá. No, very cheap. <laughs> come on, come on. Uh, thank you. Come on. You got some pho? I'm too cheap. No money. Fat and broke. This is rice and like pork on the inside, if I remember right. Sometimes a fish. My uh, wife likes it. What do we have here? What do we have here? We have here? More thumbnail possibilities. Looks like a banh mi. Yep. There's a banh mi over here getting set up. Ah, this is great. So if you want to come to another little food festival, there you go, they got one going on over here. I think this has been going a few days now. Again, let me show you by how it's kind of usually all the same. Meat on a stick, the beef and the pork with the fomai on it, the cheesecakes, the little spicy porklets, the hot dogs, the sticky rice and a bamboo shoot, and the okra. Got some souvenirs littered throughout here too. Definitely a place to meet some women if you want to come here as a guy and just start chatting up girls and try to get phone numbers. Got nuts. These are like, this kind of stuff is popular to buy when you're on vacation. Like if you're... <laughs> okay, I tried. Yeah, this is funny, not... Oh yeah. It's in the forest in Vietnam. Okay. Let's try. 
Ngon lắm luôn <laughs> Come on em Good, it tastes like a sunflower seed mixed with a nut So more of the sausage on a stick, pork on a stick You get more of the same dim sum, fried dim sum A lot of the same same I'm gonna kind of do a zigzag so we don't miss anything. Oh, they got Persian ice guy over here where he takes the ice cream from. I've seen this guy around before. I think he's lived here a long time. Yeah. He's sweating. Sweating like a foreign thing. So a lot of the same stuff we saw at the International Food Festival. This guy was at the International Food Festival, this exact guy with this pomegranate thing. Let's see if they're allowing alcohol here. Not that I'm drinking. Yep, we got a tiger right over here. So more street food, not too much variety. Seeing the same things over and over. So if you do want to drink, this one does have beer. Bambahue, looks like to me. Yep, you can see the pig foot. Always get pig foot in your bambahue. Don't just get the meatballs. Man chung, chow, fish steak, bang jiao. More fish steak. Not a big fan of that stuff. And we'll wiggle, 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 wiggle. The Koshan street food things here. It's like they moved the international food festival over here. It's exactly what happened. Too many thumbnails. So this looks like a restaurant. Some of these are restaurants. So this one's got a little variation of different stuff. This one's pretty good too. These are both pretty good. Like I said, always get the pig foot when you get yours. There's a Thai, spring roll, some different seafoods. Almost looks like a ceviche with chicken feet. I don't think that's ceviche, that's cooked. This thing is massive. Absolutely massive. I'm seeing too many tourists. It's over here. Try to walk the whole thing for you. Fish? Is it fried fish? Here, if you want to There you go. And then this Kosan street food was at the... And then here's Golden Elephant that I was talking about. So this is an actual Thai restaurant that's right down the street. It's over by, uh, it's over by Anam Market. And they're doing it the same style as they were before. Pad Thai for 60K, Chow, 70K for pork. Same way, cooked ahead of time on a big sheet. Wasn't too impressive last time. And mixed the papaya or the mango salad. I always forget which one. And then your traditional <laughs> Vietnamese snack foods. Interesting. This is just half of this thing. Half of it. As you can see, it's a reoccurring theme of a lot of the same food, but this is to cater to the Vietnamese market. So it makes sense. While I would like to see some other cuisines, that's not the market that drives it here. So it makes full sense that they are going for their market if you understand what I mean. And this is what's popular in the Vietnam market, these foods. I don't know what that is. Yellow noodle? This is dim sum? Some of this stuff's been sitting out. Sushi, definitely not a fan of sitting out sushi. That's why it's all like synthetic crab. Oh man, yeah, that salmon. Imagine a nice hot piece of salmon right now. Coming around, popping right in your mouth. Some flavorful hot salmon. I always like my sushi 80 degrees or warmer. 
What do we got here? <laughs> Japanese street food. So izikaya, yakitori, not so much. Not seeing anything too indicative of actual Nihonjin street food. <laughs> I mean, they put some toppings on that represent uh, Japan. This is like kind of Japanese, the squid. Nothing really too actual Japanese. This looks like a Thai barbecue or Cambodian barbecue. They both have that weird writing that I have zero knowledge about because I'm a stupid person. Again, more of the same, same, same. We're seeing an overall uh, vibe. And that vibe's fun. Again, they're targeting their market. Target your market. This thing's gigantic. Look how much longer this goes for. So I'm gonna split this into two videos. I didn't know that there would be two gigantic videos here, to be honest with you. Always investigating. What do we got here? It's like sweets. Yeah, sweets. Different kinds of sweets. All the sweets. A lot of their sweets here are like green bean and rice flour based, I want to say. Tapioca based. There's a lot of tapioca stuff. It's not missed. We got dim sum Hong Kong. Is it really dim sum Hong Kong? Let's put it to the test. Let's check it out. I did not anticipate uh, this taking all day. They set this up yesterday because I did come over here and none of, none of this was running yet. So they must have this going this weekend and today is the first night. Usually Thursday is the test run nights. Same, same stuff as other places. Nothing really new at any of these. Yeah, same, same. I remember to pan slower, so sorry if you guys are getting a little jolted, but I'm trying to film all this. There's some different kind of buns. These are kind of cute. Different kind of dim sums. Hong Kong dim sum? No. I've been to Hong Kong many times. It's not that, oh, we got bugs. This is Thai. Grasshopper. Maybe I'll eat some grasshopper. If someone drops a $10 thank you on this video, I'll come back and eat the grasshoppers. I am not a fan, and it will take me a lot to do it. For 10 bucks, I'll sell my soul. <laughs> Some leech on. It's just a whole lot of the same stuff, guys. Not much difference. There's that Pigfoot trotter kind of mixed with other stuff. I do like Pigfoot, so I'm not I'm not shaming. Uh, uh, chicken feet, I mean, chicken feet, chicken feet. Or somebody in the comments like, that's not a Pigfoot, that's a chicken foot. Yes, chicken foot, chicken foot. Sin noi, sin noi, sin noi, sin noi, sin noi, sin noi. Cha oi, cha oi, cha oi. Another vlogger, we got vlogger on vlogger action crimes. That's a live streamer, 100%. What platform? Afrika TV, it looks like. Afrika or Twitch. Not much different over here. Little drinks, little drinks, little drinks. Battery's holding out. This battery's got a good two minutes in it before it just goes. Nope. Calm, come on. Busting out of her dress. Looks like Twitch? I can't tell. It's Twitch she's using though. I think that's it. I think we covered all the booths. Interesting setup. There's a few more down here. Let's just go get them for a good measure. We still got some battery left. Let's chuck that battery out. Get past the music. Usually somebody's giving out stuff. Maybe they're not giving out today, though. Wait. Da, 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 da. 
I might have to edit this part out. Screaming might help with that. I imagine some booths aren't set up yet. This is a possibility. So they do have beer here. They have a lot of the same food that is at the International Street Festival. I saw very few stuff to what was there. A lot of the same vendors. Again, I don't know how that works. I don't know how they find them. I don't know how much they charge. I don't know any of the details behind that. Here's some sushi, it looks like. Different kinds, like bento box. There's cutlet bento box. Sushi. Glass noodles. Three twenty, some new beer. It's okay, count. Yeah. I think we finish off over here. Interesting. I never thought we would get two videos in one today. I never thought we would see half the cool stuff we did either. Oh, we made it very two interesting vlogs today, guys. I appreciate you guys for sticking around. Like, comment, and subscribe. Help Papa out. I'm trying to get to twenty thousand. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, I'm shooting the Patreon this month on the last night today and trying to get it out this month. So we'll have a new Patreon podcast out for the, for the last day of this month. It's the first here, but it's still technically going to be, oh, it'll be the first when you wake up too. But it'll be for last month's podcast. Maybe we'll just do this month and skip it. Early access is coming back to Patreon. You know, I kind of had a rough month this month with my leg getting messed up and then the bronchitis. So wasn't able to do as much as I wanted to. We were still able to put out, I think, 55 videos. So we still had a tremendous streak. And we're gonna try to put out 65 videos in this month. So we're gonna get on it. Well, there you go. I think that's about everything. Just little souvenirs over here. And what, what is this? This is actually something a little different. Boom, mom. So this white fish is actually really good. It's really tasty. It's a very neutral tasting fish. It's like their main fish they use in a lot of cuisine. This is leech on pork and shrimp. This is actually pretty good probably. It's probably one of the things that I would actually get here. The vlogger was just watching me work. So we got a live streamer here, we got a vlogger here. She had a couple people, it was a freak of TV. 25 people watching, not bad. Double back. We, I think we missed a few back here. I think that's it. We'll end at happy, happy nut. Happy nut. I think we got a thumbnail for both of them too. So perfect. All right, guys. Thank you. Stay frosty. See you on the next one. I'll definitely be at this food festival a couple times this weekend, so if you want to see me, come around here at night. I might be around, so we'll see. I can try it for free? Yes. Pomegranate. Okay. Okay, pomegranate. Let's try it. It's good. Pomegranate's good. 15,000. 15,000. Too much sugar, though. One. <laughs> One? You trying to get me to buy a bottle? Cow them. Come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> There's the things you're like, come buy it. <laughs> come on, come on. So these are, I've had these before, these are vitamin shots. So these have a bunch of vitamins in them. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Stay frosty. See you on the next one. Peace out.